The first time I seen this dude was at Midtown. I showed my ass and I would do the same thing tonight. So here we go. Oh, a metaphor needed. I just wish you learned how to treat people. in the car, right? I'm selling pussy. I ain't got a rap. <laughs> I hate every woman that I've dealt with because they stunted my growth as a man. I'm going to give you 10 reasons why bitches weren't shit when I was 15. <laughs> One, I used to sew a razor blade into my jugular to juggle the pride I couldn't better swallow because her intentions of making me say sorry seem so much more suitable for suicide, too. And these medicine cabinets filled with milligrams, they hold bicentennial bullets, swinging through the pretense of time, has divided tomorrow from yesterday to say our past is brighter than our future. In the state of mind I presented to you, it was a continent of subconscious consonant sounds of glass shattering and bladder bleaching. Considering being pissed off is the only time you support my pipe dreaming because you felt the plumbing was sufficient enough for you to shit on. Three, I advised the rose that grown from the endorphins of the found of you to enslave a slave trade train wreck in the garden of an ideal relationship because we're not on track. But we're the passengers, with our ears sewn as if communication cord with corpses, jumping out of the corridor to frighten our future into a casket. You created by the manure you fed the locomotive emotional train of cries in which I trained my mind to start over. From the same razor blade I'm plowing with grenades and slow game as a war of worlds of pride and hate combined. Four. I stayed on myself to figure out how I can walk on a glass tightrope just so this bitch can find flaw in it. At least be able to perform 98% of this brown paper bag, black face, drag queen, scandal ass shit so the other 2% this bitch can go to war with. Cause I learned you find peace by pulling a piece of a peace of mind to release the lease of a church home you built to be blasphemous. With the actions of God blasting back and forth with all this rapid talk, you don't even go to church, but you use Bible scriptures as bayonets and go those lines. Six. <laughs> I let you talk down on me just so you can build yourself up. See, whenever the devil plays his plays through trouble and enslaving ways, I let you pull off my angel wings. And yet you find ways to complain because each feather was a fragment of steel capsules and medicated caskets considering if I die today, then forever is the yesterday away from the heartbreak I pray that you sustain just to complete the cracks of my broken smile. No metaphor needed. I just wish you learned how to treat people. Seven, I no longer feel like an equal. I feel more like a sidekick. With eyes signed stitched and the clocks conceived, with Adderall eyes deprived by the pendulum swing of the hourglass, we had to crack to abuse our growth daily. Eight, you used your accomplishments as a showcase into your peers. For fucking what? You act as if Batman cannot be the rail by them same shells that permeated through that horror movie theater. The metaphor being, I hate the body count of arrogance that you choose to push on people. But nine times out of ten, we always use this constant bashing and often verbal thrashing via subtweets. A fuck this nigga, he ain't shit is the hashtag, and then I often question what happened. Wow. Nothing. Because we're so afraid to lose each other, those locomotives, grenades, and switch blades was nothing more than neosporin to broken band-aids that we utilized trying to fix all of the cracks in our heart that we didn't cause to each other in the first place. I don't have no trust for nothing because of you. I look at every woman I've ever dated as prey. Because hopefully I get to feed off of the bullshit to keep me alive. Translation, I'm not a man anymore. I'm just a sidekick. And that's it. Mm -hmm.